uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving uh, this very very interesting question okay so we have to find uh, the small signal gain uh, v out by v in okay so we can see that uh, this is a like this is a normal inverter structure right without r now in this case we have a resistance from in input to output okay so actually i will be solving uh, in two three method okay so so you can follow okay now okay let's make this circuit uh, for two cases okay when r is infinite and when r is zero okay so when the r is zero then what will be the reduced picture r zero means the uh, resistor is shorted short circuited right shorted and uh, when the uh, like resistance uh, is infinite then r is open circuited so the picture will be like this right So the picture will be looking like this right now what is the gain of this circuit so we have both p mos and n mos with uh, with input in gate right and we have to take the output from drain of this p mos and n mos so what we can do we can do the superposition theorem right we can use superposition theorem so this is our gm n and this is our gmp and we have to uh, uh, assume here challenge length modulation right here the this value is greater than zero right lambda so we have to take channel length modulation in this uh, in this uh, in this problem okay then like we know that what is the gain of the circuit we all know right if we do superposition theorem that is that that meaning like we have this circuit let's say this like we can write in this fashion right the v in is shorted for both of these two gates right and we have to take the so this is a small signal ground and this is ground and this is our v out then if we if we gmp times gmn okay then what is the gain so if we take this input is active only and this is grounded now then what should be the output so here this uh, the current the dependent current source is out of the picture right because the vgs becomes zero okay if we consider this only v in is active now then what should be the uh, gain of this circuit this is this will be nothing but minus gmp times rop parallel ron we know that right because there is a resistance of ron and there is a resistance of rop now if we have this input active and this is grounded then what should be the our v out like uh, the gain so this will be nothing but so for superposition we have to add this two gain right so plus of minus gmn times rop times ron we know that right so the overall gain of this circuit is nothing but av equal to minus of gmp plus gmn times rop parallel ron so this is the gain of this figure we know that already okay and what is the gain of the circuit we can see that the v in is directly short to v out so here v out equal to v in then what is the gain so gain is nothing but v out by v in nothing but one okay so in this figure the gain is one and in this figure the gain is minus gmp plus gmn gmn into rop parallel ro okay so we 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 have to see but how to solve this circuit so let move so we can do the small signal model okay actually i am doing first small signal model then i will tell another approach how to solve this okay so let's do the small signal model uh, for this circuit okay okay so for small signal we can we are having uh, these dependent sources let's say this is ron and we have another dependent sources uh, let's say this is r okay so this is our rop okay 
and this is our gate of pmos okay let's say vgp and this is our gate of nmos vgn okay and here we have a resistance from and we are taking the output from the drain of this two node right so this is our v out so what we can do so we have and uh, the v in and we have from input to output we have a resistance r okay and the input is applied here okay so this is our v in so this is our v in right so this is our small signal picture and the source is uh, grounded and the source of uh, AC small signal ground right so this is also grounded for PMOS so this is RO, RON this is ROP this is ROP right and what should be the voltage like dependent voltage or voltage source here so this will be nothing but GMB times VGS so what is the VGS so our VGSP is nothing but our VN right so this is our V and what is the VGS of N so this is our VGS of N so this is nothing but our V in itself right so this will be nothing gmn times v in so our small signal picture is done okay so now we can apply a kcl at this output node okay so what will be the what will be then the equations so equations will be we can see that there is two currents like all the current is flowing downward okay let's say so this current is nothing but gmn times v in plus this current is nothing but what is the current through this r so this is nothing but v v out minus v in v out minus v in divided by r what is the current flowing through this uh, okay so uh, this 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 for this two equation we have right there and what is the current flowing through this uh, ron and what is the flowing uh, current flowing through this rop so we can directly assume that the voltage is same right uh, like the upper voltage is vo and the lower voltage is ground for this uh, both uh, ron and rop so this comes in parallel right so we can directly write for these two cases the v out will be nothing but rop parallel ron right like if you separately write this current and this current eventually you will be getting this expression okay for this two current and here we have a gmp times gmp times v in equal to zero so we have to solve this like if we solve this uh, so we are going to have so we can take v in common okay let's say v out common so this will be nothing but uh, 1 by r plus 1 by rop times ron and if we come on uh, like take common v in so this will be nothing but v in times this gmn gmn plus gmp right so we have taken that and we have to take this so this will be nothing but minus 1 by r right so this will be our equal to 0 so if we take this so here we have v out by v in is nothing but so this term is going to right side so this will be minus so minus gmp plus gmn minus 1 by r okay divided by 1 by r plus 1 by rop parallel ron so now we have to check is this expression is correct or not okay so this is our final expression now we have to check two extreme cases one is for uh, r is infinite and another is for r is zero okay so let's do that okay wait so this is our expression okay so this is our expression now if we put r uh, r uh, r tends to infinity okay so what will be the our av so this is our av right av so av is nothing but if this is infinity so r is infinity so this term goes to zero right so we are having in the numerator minus gmp plus gmn and if we put r is infinite this term is also goes to zero so this is out of the picture so we are having one over uh, rop parallel ron so this term will go up upper right on over so uh, so minus gmp plus gmn times rop parallel ron so is this matching our conditions uh, let's see okay for r equals to infinite okay so we can see that it is ex exactly matching our results okay so this is for r equals infinity 
so this is ex exactly the same expression now let's see for r equals 0 okay now if we put r equals 0 r equals 0 then what will be the our v uh, v out v out yeah like uh, the uh, small signal gap so we can see that so if we rearrange the circuit uh, rearrange the expression so this will be nothing but minus r times gmt plus gmn minus one okay and this will be nothing but uh, one plus one plus uh, r times r o p parallel r o n okay now we have to put r equals zero so if we put r equals zero this this term is vanishes so our we are having minus of zero minus one divided by one plus and if we, if it is zero the overall term is zero so this is zero so we are having minus and minus so this will be our plus one right so is like for r equals zero is our expression is correct like we are getting plus one as again so let's see so exactly we are getting the same right our av was plus one right so this is exactly the correct solution okay so this is how we can uh, approach to the circuit now another approach is the following okay let's see okay wait a minute actually another approach will be nothing but the uh, for all superposition right so okay what is the figure please uh, wait okay the software is not responding correctly okay so another uh, another approach will be this okay so we can do this thing right we can assume there is three voltage source of v in and we have to uh, do the superposition theorem okay like we have to apply the principle of superposition to get the v out over v in okay now we can see that if we do that for when only this uh, this v in is active and these two are ac grounded then what should be the our uh, what should be our uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. small signal av so this will be nothing but and this this is the uh, dependent source is out of the picture so the rp like rop rop here okay like ron comes parallel r okay and then here is also a rop so three resistance comes in parallel okay with the like, uh, uh, like the, this will be the overall r out right and the gain like the gm of this p mosfet will be nothing but gmp so we have write that over the uh, the due to this uh, the excitation and these two are ac grounded the uh, ac small signal gain will be like this right we know that similarly if we do this is small signal ground and this is small signal ground and this v in is active so the gain will be like this we know that the gm of this uh, uh, this uh, nmos times the overall output impedance and then similar case is happening this is ac small signal ground so from here there are three uh, resistance rop 
R and RON comes in parallel. So we have write that. Then these two are AC ground, these two are AC ground, and we have active this V. Okay. Then what what will be the uh, AV AV? So this will be nothing but a normal voltage divider, right? This is R and this is this will be nothing but there are two parallel come like there are two resistance ROP and RON. So this will be nothing but ROP parallel RON, right? So we can directly use the voltage divider. So the output voltage will be nothing but uh, ROP parallel RON divided by R plus ROP parallel RON, right? So the gain will be nothing but this, right? So this will be our gain. So we have write that. Like I have write that. Then the overall gain will be nothing but sum of these three gain. So I have, I am doing like 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 the same, right? So we have uh, sum. 3 gain 1, 2, and 3 gain. So, this is the overall expression. Now, put R equals infinity here. What will be the output? Let's say uh, for AV, like for R equals infinity, what will be the AV? So, infinity, like this is a some finite resistance and it comes parallel with a infinite resistance. Then, the overall impedance will be nothing but this small resistance, right? So, this will be nothing but minus GM, GMP plus GMN times. ROP parallel RON okay and if this is infinite some some finite some finite divided by zero will be uh, like the uh, finite this is finite right and this is if this is our infinite this becomes infinite whole denominator so this will be infinite so this overall overall term becomes zero so we are having this so we are getting the same expression as we discussed previously okay so this expression is also correct okay now, if we put R equals 0, R equals 0, what will be the picture? So, if we put R equals 0, then we have a finite impedance with parallel to 0 impedance. Then, what should be the uh, effective impedance? This will be 0. So, GM times like some uh, constant times 0 will be 0, right? So, this will be 0 plus. So, if this is 0, if this is 0, what will be the output? So, this will be nothing but ROP parallel ROM divided by ROP parallel RON. So, this will be nothing but plus 1. So, this the AV for R equals 0 will be plus 1. So, this is exactly meeting our same condition we have discussed previously. So, this is the, the another approach. Actually, I like this approach uh, much uh, like much uh, uh, comprehensive uh, than the previous one. Okay. So, this is how we can solve the circuit. And ex extremely sorry for this interruption between the videos. Okay. Thank you.